I like Mondays, so however, I absolutely love them. Uh, someone else that I know absolutely loves them as well is the hottie Scotty himself. Craig is here with me. How are you, Craig? I'm doing good. Thank you very much, Joe. Yet yeah, ready to go for this. What is Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Tuesday night? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? <laughs> Monday night here in the UK. What we're going to do is we're going to be showcasing a lot of different things, but we're getting to really focus on our memory book. So here we go, on these ones here, we've got the 8x8 ones. 8x8 ones are going to go through your Gemini, large Gemini. You will need your Gemini Pro to use the 10-inch ones. So think and look at all these designs, your card stocks you've got at home, paper pads. But you can then change the actual edges. You can do all your little pockets. Look at all these colorways that you can do. Little pockets inside, little hideaway, little notelet bits that you can do. Again, another, another one this way. Changing the colors around with the blues as well as the mints. And you can see how you can be adding your pages in. How well does the black look? But what you can then do is you can actually shorten the pages. So it is still the 10 inch one, but what we've done is we've just made the actual pages a little bit shorter, cut them a bit shorter, so you've got that option as well. Let's show you a few more when it comes to the eight by eight. Now look at this one. Isn't this one absolutely gorgeous? You could then be adding your charms. We've actually got Ness and Dyes on the show tonight. You might want to be using them instead. But using your texture card, your pattern card, your inks, all the additional little dies that you could be popping into the middle of your memory book. It doesn't just have to be photos, but it could be along the lines of weddings if you want to. Maybe you want to do a little keepsake after the wedding, maybe the year after the wedding that we can see here. Little additional pockets if you want. These are actually the edgeables of the cards, but you could use them as little pockets if you want. Or what about, which I would be absolutely brilliant for my best friend and her husband who's due their baby in June, a little baby book. You could then design it so that they get to fill in all the little bits. You don't have to necessarily have it complete with photos in there. You could do it and create it so that they can create it themselves. These are all the eight by eight ones. Maybe you do want to make a larger scale. Along the same lines, it is just the much larger base on this one here. So the spine is 10 inch. You will need the Gemini Pro for the 10 inch one. But once again, you could do notelets, you can do calendars. You can use it as a memory book if you want to as well. Lots of different ways. Maybe think about you've got your organizer. Take the elements from that organizer set and be creating a really large one when it comes to this one. This one being a birthday book, what about an address book or any of these different ones where you need to uh, remember things, keep things going, calendars, anything as uh, such as that. So many different things you could be doing with these ones here. And I get to have a play with the pro. Oh, they will indeed. And I just love it. You know, the original memory book size, which was this size that we bought you just here, just to give you an idea of how big they were, they were absolutely so popular. Now, if you went for this size and you have all the workings, like the twist and pop and uh, the, water floor, the waterfall and all of these different elements, these will still work in your larger in your larger memory books. If you want to go for it, it's available. The smaller memory book spine is available on the show for you, which is this size here. However, what I'm going to be talking to you about are the two new larger, larger ones that have just launched. So you can see it's kind of double the size. I'm just going to bring the 10 inch one as well in just for, um, just so you can see uh, the difference. So you can, this is your original one. This is your eight inch and this is your 10 inch. So uh, it really is about you getting even more out of these uh, than all the things you knew and loved about them before. Now, the great thing is you can still start to do all those awesome things. I think these are big enough now that if you wanted to, these could become photo albums. You could just actually use these dies to create awesome photo albums because this 10 inch one is absolutely massive and it means you can get lots of the different elements on the one page if you want to. I think they're absolutely fantastic. I know so many of you have loved putting the original ones together and we did have an exceptionally busy launch when we launched this larger size. So the eight inch details on your um, screens there at the moment, uh, which is this one you just here. So this is what you're getting. You're going to get this die just here, which is your eight inch spine, which is brilliant. And then you're also getting the page edges in there as well. 39.99 or 45.95. That will go into your large uh, Gemini. 
Uh, this one is the 10 inch. Now this is going to have to go into your Gemini Pro. This is that really, really big size. Do you know what I see this as? A great excuse to get a Gemini Pro uh, yeah. when they're in stock, of course. And then you're gonna get the page edges in there as well, 54.99 or 59.95. Now, whether you're going for the original small one, the eight inch or the 10 inch, they all work exactly the same way. So it's completely up to you how you use them. And talking about using them, Craig, uh, I believe you're gonna get straight on with the demonstration, is that correct? I am absolutely going to dive right in and we're going to have a bit of a play. So straight away, now many of you will already have seen uh, the shows with Sarah and Leanne, so you may already know a lot about them. However, uh, this is the first main show that I've done with this one here. So like me, many of you might be relatively new to it, so I'm still going to explain what I already know and then you might actually um, be able to follow on as well. So when it comes to the, the books, we are going to use the 10 inch one. So with the 10 inch one, when it comes to the memory books, doesn't matter although it's the Ultimate Pro, it is still the same plate configuration. Of course, we've got them. I've got mine here, which are the A3 size. Mine. They're not mine. Ours. They're mine tonight. Mine. Mine, mine tonight. Mine tonight. So they're uh, with these ones here. So although it's the larger die, I'm using the A3 plates. You could use the 12 and 12. You need these to use the 10 inch one. You need the Pro to use the 10 inch one. So what we're going to do is we can go and take these ones off. So as I say, although they're large, although it's a large machine, it's still your wafer thin die combination. So I brought some of our texture cardstock into place here. Now what I'm going to do straight away is we're just going to be cutting this one, as we are always liking to do. So plastic, magnetic, and then our top plate. So as you can see with the way I lay that on top, I could have absolutely... Oh, it's great. <laughs> Your case, great. Uh, just to let everyone know that the Pro is available and in stock in both the UK and the US. You'll find it over on the website. So go check it out over there. Ooh, well, do you know something, Joe? We have a little bit of a teaser as well. I have a full masterclass for this one tomorrow. I'm stepping in for Leanne. Now, obviously, it's been a long day today. So by the time I finish tonight, it's going to be something to eat and chill out. Tomorrow night, after I've done masterclass, I think. I may have to uh, borrow one of our pros just to take home, just to familiar myself a little bit more, you know, any future shows, any, basically any excuse, really, really. So here we go. So what we've got straight away, nothing overly exciting at the moment, but what you will be able to see maybe just in a moment, what we've got is we've got all of these grids all the way down. These are all embossed lines for you to go. And also, again, at the moment, you won't really see it, but we've got crisscrosses all the way along the bottom and all the way along the top. So that's where you're going to pop your adhesive. So what I'm going to do to start with is I'm going to fold all of these along the lines. So they're all embossed for you. You don't need to use your scoreboard or that to uh, just accent them out a little bit more. But if you wanted to, you know, it'll do you no harm by just finalising the lines if you need to. But all that I'm doing, Joe, is I'm going to work all the way along all these score lines just by folding them. Some of them, or most of them, you need to mount and fold them, and some of them you need to valley fold them. But for the time being, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, mount and fold all of these ones because I find it easier to do it that way. Loads of people saying hi this evening, Craig. Alison are saying hi from Brooklyn, New York. Uh, Patty's here from Michigan AC. Eve is in Missouri. I'm always fascinated by Missouri. I don't know. I don't really know where it is or what it's going to be like, Craig. Yeah. I'm going to have to Google it in a minute. Is it sort of mid, mid south, I'm thinking? I, uh, I think so. Yeah. Karen saying hi from Florida again. Carol Guy is here from Wisconsin. Felicia's in Ohio. Ohio, Felicia. Uh, and Catherine saying hello from a very cloudy San Diego. Um, awesome. Lots of, we seem to get a lot more people joining us now, don't we? Live for this last show, Craig. Now we've slid it. Uh, to that sort of 7 p.m., 2 p.m. East Coast slot, it um, is. which is fantastic. So it means that loads of you now in the US are getting to join us live, which we love. We absolutely do. Just seems to be a time slot that seems to be suiting a lot of people all across the globe. But here we are. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep going. So you're going to go all the way along. You're following the embossed lines that's already there for you. What's the best kind of thickness to use for these, Ars Evelyn? Right, so when it comes to the actual spine of it here, I would use anything from about a 250 
up to a 300 GSM. Okay. When it comes to the insert, the bits that we're going to do shortly, I, I would say even from a 150 onwards, okay. because what we're going to do is we're going to back them on top of each other. Right, so therefore, okay. back to back, once they're uh, stuck together, obviously, two 150 GSM card blanks is then going to give you 300 GSM. So that's going to make it really, really sturdy. So I wouldn't be overly concerned at the moment for doing the insert parts as really thick cardstock. You can do that just so that it's a, a nice, relatively lightweight, round about the 150. By doubling it, it gives you 300 GSM. So what I'm going to do is I would just finish folding all these in. So I think I've got all of my score lines into place here. Following them all the way along. And when I think I've got them all good to go, which I think I have, what I'm now going to do is where my two thumbs are, in between there, there's actually two emboss crisscrosses. Do you want to see it on the? Uh, do you want to see it on the die? Uh, it might be it? easy yeah. for me to show you on the die, Craig. That would actually. be great if I you don't do know how that. Close you can get, but if you can you see can you see them there? So these are the crosses that Craig is talking about, and you see there's uh, they're together, and then there's two together, small gap, two together, small gap, two together, small gap, two together, and then a small gap, and you've got them all the way down, so you can see them there really clearly. You do indeed. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be then matching the two crosses together. So what I mean by that, this strip and this strip has got a cross. So let's pop an adhesive here. Now instead of doing them all right at the moment, let's just do this one. So what we're doing is I've got my adhesive on one strip, one on the other. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold that back on itself. So it's going to be cross to cross. And as always, when it comes to adhesive, certainly with our tape runner, I'm just giving that just a roll back and forwards with my thumb, heating up the cardstock, heating up the adhesive, and that's going to give it a really strong bond. So what's going to happen then is we're going to be left with a little quarter of an inch kind of spine, and you can see we've got one little tab that's starting to form outwards. Now, at first, at the moment, you might think, well, it doesn't actually look like anything, Craig. So what we're going to do is we're going to carry on and we're doing exactly the same with all of these different strips. So each one that's got the cross, we're going to go all the way down with our tape runner. I'm going to keep going. And this time, what I'm going to do, instead of doing just one at a time, let's go all the way down and we're going to pull our adhesive all the way down. Always on the strip with the cross. So let's do this one and then this one. So now that we've got all of our adhesives in place, so each one we're going to fold back on itself. And if we press this one together, so folding it, and then once again, let's just give that bit of a burnish and using our finger, heating it up slightly. And then we're going to keep working all the way along. So I'm going to do a couple. And then once I've done a couple, before I do the rest, I'm going to show you how it's starting to form and look. So we're going to fold that one in to place here. And this is giving you what I guess you call the leaves, is it? It um, is. Craig? It is. The, the leaves, the, the little tabs, whatever you want to call it, so that it is then, let's turn, turn it this way, so that then you can come along with your little inserts into your little pages and then you can start to pop them in, which we'll show you that in a minute. So we can pop this one. Now what's going to happen, so that's the spine so that's the battle. Obviously, you're taking more time, so yours will be neater than mine. But this is the spine coming together. If I tip it up this way, can you see we've now got the tabs starting to come together here? So this is where our pages are going to come into play. So we are going to fold and just burnish this one into place. And then we're going to do another couple more. So fold in all these in. And then we're going to, I think we've just actually got one, one more to go. So cross them ones over, working all the way down. So starting top to bottom, and then we're going to roll back and forwards, just getting that heated up slightly. And then we're going to fold these back on themselves. We're going to neaten each of these wee sections up. So folding them older, folding them over, and then we're going back onto itself. So we're just wanting to neaten up the spine. Um, are you going to cover this, Craig, or do you leave this open? This part? You can leave it open. I um, I'm not going to say ideally. The intentions are just to leave it open, like this way. 
However, you can, if you want, the die. So within the 10 inch one, you get the opulent edges, yep. which are the decorative edges for the insert pages. Mm -hmm. But there's nothing wrong with you cutting an elongated piece of card, maybe using one of these dies, cut each side, and that could be a wrap around the spine if maybe you don't want to see it. So you Perfect. can absolutely cover it if you so wish. So what we can do is let's straighten and tidy this spine bit. So there's our spine come together here. And if I turn it over, this is where all our little pages are going to slot into place. So if I hold it straight and we'll go upwards, so this is, so if we, there we go, it's from up above and you can see, so there is all these little lever parts and this is where all your individual pages are going to slot inwards and this is where you can start to decorate your memory book. Fantastic. Lots of people sharing loads of ideas for what they're going to do with those. One of the, uh, well, Christine says she loves the baby book. June says I'd like to make a recipe book using yeah. these. I think that'd be an awesome thing to do, make your own recipe books up for sure. And Joe Woodward says I'm in the middle of making a retirement card for a fellow manager with the 8 inch album uh, so that we can get lots of colleagues messages inside uh, who aren't able to meet up in person. I love that Brilliant. idea. Brilliant. Really That's love that. such a good idea. Such a good idea. Maybe, and they can, then what you can do is you can start to write longer messages just instead of, you know, uh, all the best, good luck, mm. you know, because you're always trying to find that little space to write into. But when it comes to the insert pages, so you can, because the length of the spine is 10 inches, initially you're going to think that your pages have got to be 10 inch by 10 inch. Well, ideally, they do need to be 10 inch in height, so that's obviously going to fill the spine, but they could, your page could be five inch, it could be 10 inch. If you want to use larger cardstock, it could be 15 inch. You can do a really big one if you want. So as long as the height of your pages is 10 inches, then the rest of it could be you know, as long as you want. But let's stick along the lines of the 10 by 10 inch. So I've done one, let's do two. And when I was on about backing, your layers back to back. This is exactly what I was meaning here. So for each individual tab, so if I bring this back in, so when I say individual tab, I just mean one of these. So this one here, what you're going to do is you're actually going to take two pages, which I've got, and then we're going to back these onto each other, which we will do right now. So what I'm going to do into our tab here. So on one side, we're going to pop our adhesive. So you're just wanting to lay it flat. So we're going to bring in our tape, the, this one here. So I'm laying it flat just so that I get a good base. Are you using tape pens for speed or would this be your sort of go-to adhesive here? Clark? I'm using tape pen for speed. I would, uh, ideally, I would use a tacky glue. You can, if you wanted to, use a red liner tape, but anything that's re that really wants to be robust as something like a memory book, I would use our white tacky glue. And that's going to be really, really strong once you have uh, popped it all into place and it's all dried. So let's just, let's come back in that way. Let's do it that way, Craig. There we go. So we're following up against the embossed lines and I'm coming all the way down into place. So let's pop that one in. Kathy's asking if she thinks you could cut the spine out of faux leather, Craig. What do you reckon? I don't see why not. You it, might have to cover the... I'd imagine you would have to... It wouldn't be structured enough. No, no. It? You might have no, to no. cover something with it. Yeah, it's not going to be structurally uh, based. Let me just... I'm going to line this one Maybe, up a little uh, bit more. You know, as you suggested, cutting an out piece that goes over, Craig. Maybe that would be a great thing to cut it with. Uh, I, think, I wonder if you could cut it with real leather, you know? I'm not sure. Yes, you'd have to give it a go, wouldn't you? The thing is, with it shape-wise, because... Now, when I say it's a core shape, I mean it's a very simple shape. There's no intricate parts. There's no tiny, tiny little parts. It is a main outline shape. So there's no reason that it's going, not going to cut your materials. Of course, it's not going to be strong enough for it to be the actual spine of no. your card. But maybe you want to do it on a thicker material. And then, of course, you can then maybe back it on top of it if you want. Of course you can. Give it a shot and just see what you can come up with. So on this one, Joe, what I've done, we've got our first page in here. So now on the reverse, what I want to do is pop my adhesive all over the back. So that includes 
this spine bit here. And then what we'll also want to do to really make it strong, let's pop our adhesive all the way around. So these are the parts that there's no reason whatsoever that it can't be something like a 150 GSM. Because by the time we back it on top of each other, it's going to be 300 GSM. So you don't need to worry so much about that. I guess if you were using uh, all purpose as well, Craig, would it get start to get really hardened and thicken really up? Really hardened, yeah. yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So do have a think about the different layers that you can do when it comes to your adhesive. So yeah, your all purpose, what would happen is that's really going to make it robust and strong. Just remember though, if you are going to, if you're wanting to use your all purpose, Remember that, you know, try and use a, a texture or a porous cardstock, not something like a Centura Pair or Adorable Scorable, anything with a coat in, because that's just going to take that coat in off. But what we can do is if I then press these ones together again, just to really get them adhered to each other. If I then, so there's the start of our memory book. Now there's our first page here that you can see, and we've backed it onto the other. So we've got our first page good to go. If we look from up above, here's our first page here. And we would do exactly the same on these additional tabs that you can see here. You so cover them both sides. You get two pages for each one of those pokey out bits, for want yes. of a better word. Yes, awesome. I, I would, absolutely. Well, that's the construction then, is it, Craig? Uh, do you mind if I just quickly recap the two different options, go Craig? For it. Uh, so these are the two different options for you. You've got the eight inch spine which is going to create this size of book for you and actually don't think about having these um short these pages here look at this one that's been created with a lovely family album which has actually got these longer style pages kind of more like a photo album style which i think is great how much do you pay for photo albums you know especially when you want to get them decorated exactly how you want them this is fantastic to allow you to do that if it is the eight inch that you're going for then the eight inch is going to give you this just here you're going to get the album spine which is the bit that craig has just taken you through and then you also get the eight inch page edges as well which is that one there now if you are lucky enough to own a Gemini Pro, or maybe, you know, you're looking for an excuse to treat yourself to a Gemini Pro, then this may be it, I think, because this is the 10 inch spine that you're looking at, and it has got massive pages. The pages are huge. If you're using it for photo albums, if you're popping in all of these sort of extra elements that I know a lot of you will already own from the uh, original uh, memory books, then this is brilliant for, uh, to sort all of that out. So you're gonna get that in there which is going to be created for you with this 10 inch spine, uh, which is fantastic. And then uh, you're gonna get the 10 inch page edges that go with that as well. Absolutely awesome. Uh, 54.99 or 59.95 if you want to get that. Now, there is a smaller album for you as well. It uh, would go through your junior actually. Uh, so this is it. Uh, would it go through your junior or am I um, talking nonsense, Craig? I think it's a bit long for your junior, isn't it? It is. It needs to go through your large Gemini or there even you your are. pro. Talking nonsense, knew it. Uh, and this is what this is going to make for you. It's going to give you uh, this size, which I just think is absolutely awesome. And again, you can fit all of those elements within there too, which is brilliant. So do make sure you grab that if you want to go for the smaller one. But how nice actually, for someone like a wedding, Craig, how nice to give them like the three different sizes, you know, like a collection of them, which could be absolutely awesome. Uh, and then what we've also got is the tabbed purse for you. So it's the tabbed page and purse. Love this. It's fantastic for uh, popping in these little purses onto your project's little wallets that you can pop loose items in and out of. It really is fun. You've got all the little embellishing items that you need in there too. £20 or $27 if you want to go for that. Let's share with you some of the other awesome things that are available on the show. We've got the abstract shape stamps. These are fantastic. I remember Jan launching these not so long ago. Very busy. They are back. £28 or $35 is your price on those. Now the nesting dies. Love, love, love our nesting dies. And you've got a really great selection here, which is fantastic. So within here, you're going to get the uh, scalloped circle, the scalloped oval, the stitched 
um, circle, the stitched oval, and the stitched primitive flower. Beautiful, £42 or $55, an absolute essential when it comes to your card making. Now we've got some dreamies items for you on the show as well. These are the everyday characters, six sheets here of MDF shapes, $19.99 or $28.49 if you want to go for those. Next up, we've got the Wealth of Watercolour Stamp Collection. 23 stamps in total in here for you. Really lovely, great to colour up. $24.99 or $37.99. How about some beaming, how would you, beaming, let me try that again. How about some beaming bunnies? Uh, $12.99 or $18.99 if you want to get your hands on those. Now we've got the Fancy Florets Die and Stamp. Set with, <laughs> what did you say the word, Georgina? Florets, fancy florets. Uh, yeah, the fancy florets uh, die and stamp set uh, for you, $54.99 or $79.99. And we've also got the Monday Mega Deal, uh, which is this one here, £22.97 or $27.85. Two clear cutting plats, two, let me try that again, two clear cutting plates, don't cut your plats. Uh, you also get the plastic cutting plate and the bag to keep it all in as well. And one more, I know we've, st I don't know how we've still got this in stock, but I know it's getting very low now. It's a 13 piece opaque pigment ink collection. Brilliant, love these, uh, they are great because they are so incredibly versatile and can do so much for you. Now I can see a lot of you uh, with very full baskets. What I'm gonna do is give you an opportunity to check out. So whilst you do that, here's all the details of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Hi, I'm Joe from Crafters TV, and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows. So the best way to watch us is always on Crafters TV. Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Absolutely, we do create every single day. I would love to see some pictures of the memory books that you have created. If you want to send those in to me, we love seeing things that you've made. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk. Lovely message come in from um, Pauline Taylor. It says, I made an album for my godparent who has dementia. Uh, wherever I took her, I would always take pictures and then I put them all in the book uh, to remind her of where she had been. How lovely is that? What an awesome, awesome use. Um, of these books. I think that's just exactly the kind of thing we had in mind when they were produced. Um, Stephanie's making one, a book for her niece's bridal shower. I think that's a lovely idea. I think weddings are, are really great. I know that the lovely Jan in Ravello, who's uh, a um, viewer that joins us a lot of the time, her husband um, initiates or oversees weddings uh, in Italy. And she used to actually offer a service of constructing a memory book for the uh, happy couple as part of like their wedding service. So I don't know if Jan's watching or she's gone for uh, the larger ones then uh, um, I'd love to know if she has. Right, Craig is over there, honestly. He's like Newton Aycliffe's next top model over there sorting himself out, honestly. Craig, you wanna see hair like, look, honestly, Craig's oh. over there sorting his hair. Look at this, honestly, it's what's mine. going on? Me and Craig both look like, honest, we've got Boris Johnson look going on, haven't we? The lockdown look, Craig. I know. How, we've got another six weeks yet, you know? Don't. I oh, know, five, five weeks. I think five weeks today, I think it is, so we can get our hair cut. I'm booked in, are you booked in, Craig? Uh, no, not yet. Oh, you need yeah. to get yourself booked, honestly, because you'll be weeks more as well. I think we should go back to Craig now, just so I can, you know. I think so, yeah. Just in case. My hair. I wonder what people were sniggering. That was me just looking at myself in the camera and trying to sort my hair, because it's a mess. Anyway, what we're going to do with these ones here is let's have a look at the tabbed page and purse dies. As uh, Joe was saying as well, so these were perfect for the original uh, smaller ones when they first came out, Precious Memories, use them in with our large book. So what we're going to do, I've got a couple of layers cardstock already good to go. 
Now, what we're going to do is uh, using the tabbed page in purse card, these dies. So we're going to use this one here. Now, this one is going to create kind of like the little purse. Now, with this one here, what you've got, it is five and a quarter by... Since Three you started playing with your hair, I hear we've lost uh, audience members, Craig. Well, have the we're... viewership's going down, yeah. Mm. Hair chat's not the way forward, apparently. Oh, well, does that mean we can yeah. just go home then? No, I think we just no. need to, you know, stop mentioning the hair. We'll yeah, get, We'll get back on an even it'll be fine, don't worry. Fine with me. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardstock. Now, at the moment, it, it's not a specific size in the fact of we're actually going to pop our die on. So as long as it's big enough for this die. However... We've got the outside cutting edge on three edges, but on this one here, there is no outside cutting edge. So what that's going to do, that is going to go over to the fold, the seam of your card. So we're going to have that, so it's oh, just overlapping and no more. So what we can then do is, using our low-tack tape, we're going to pop this one in. Now these sorts of ones, whether it's these, uh, well really any dies, but anything where you need to do quite a few layers, this is when, yes, your large uh, Daddy Gemini is good, even better if you've got the pro, because you really can do lots and lots of layers. Now on this one, this is going to create kind of like the concertina edges. Now we need two of them. So it die cuts all the way around, we've got the score lines in between. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two layers of our cardstock and pop that one over the top. Let's just line that one up so that we know that's going to cut perfectly and we're going to tape that one into place we're also then joe still using the, the same cardstock in case anyone wonders it's our pastel 12 by 12. Gorgeous. we're going to take which is our top fold that can go into place here and then what we're also going to do while we are here and we've got all the space what I've done is I've taken a piece of cardstock. Now this size is what actually fits the original precious memory books. So six inches by four inches. And then we've got a couple of these edges here. So this is your decorative edges. So we can pop that into the side here. So that then goes from a straight edge page to a bit of a tab. So we can bring this one in here. We're going to pop that one into place here. And then, so you're just essentially cutting all the large bits, are you, Craig? Absolutely. Brilliant. Absolutely. So that is your, these three here are your three main ones for doing your uh, tabbed page. And then because we've got all the space here, what I've done is I've uh, created our uh, page, insert page, because that could then fit onto that, or that can go into your larger 8 by 8 or 10 by 10. Awesome. And then what I'm still going to do, Joe, because we might want to decorate these, we've got all these decorations dies into place here. So what we're going to do to make the colours complement each other, let's bring in a piece of yellow and we can decorate them. So this one, let's just put a load on and we can have a little play and decorate. So let's put these in. So let's go these, these and then these. Do you know what? So let's do that and then that. So what I'm also going to do to make sure, let's just secure them. So I'm going to use my tape and what I'm going to do is pop them in. So we've done actually, in, in essence, we've done two different types with the one plate. So we've got our, our actual purse card and then these are our, our tabbed page dies. Plastic, magnetic and then top plate. Feeding that one in to our Gemini. So lining that one up, that's going to go through. And although I'm using the A3 plates, you can use the 12 by 12. Don't forget, you can use the A4 plates as well. Just turn them around and they're going to go in. This is then going to come out. All the layers cut for us. Uh, Karen Fisher says, I made a book for my friend's 50th birthday. It contained picture of us, uh, pictures of us together during our 30 years of friendship. How nice is that? That's a lovely idea, isn't it? Lovely idea. So, yeah, absolutely we're thinking of uh, celebration and memories, but what about friendship as well? Anything along those lines, you're able to capture the memories. So here with this one, so this is where we've die cut and then... We've got our little uh, fold here. Who would you make a memory book for, Joe? Oh, good question. Maybe for myself. 
<laughs> no, that's nothing so wrong with that. That's so conceited, isn't it? Nothing <laughs> wrong with that. Uh, no, I would. Who would I make a memory book for? Good point. Good. Um, good one. Probably for my. Probably for my mum, because I know my mum, if it was like full of things, I'd make it for my mum, but yeah. I'd make it full of things about me. Yeah. Because I know what she's like. She's so proud. She'd like show it all, she'd show it off to everyone. Yeah. Oh, look what my Joe made me. And then it was full of, look at all these things my Joe's been up. That's what she'd do. Yeah. Because she's very, very proud, my mum. Uh, my mum's like that as well. My mum's like Who that. Who would you make one for? Um, do you know something I'm going to say exactly the same as you? Really? Exactly the same yeah. as you, yeah. Or make it for my mum, but you know, and have a lot of me in it. I'd like to, uh, what a great Mother's Day idea to make one of these for your mum. I know, but Mother's Day here in the UK is this Sunday, it so. It is this Sunday. Well, you've got time, 48 hour post, Craig. <laughs> I've got time, where, do where I? Where are we now? Have so... you seen my Crafters TV schedule for this week? <laughs> I have, you definitely do not have time. Craig will be here, uh, Craig about will just move into the green room. I, I, I'm sleeping, just sleeping in the green room. Um, but yeah, it would be good. I'd also love to create sort of, rather than having photo albums of trips, the thing is, you know with the photo album, Craig, you end up with like a lot of photos from one trip or from one holiday, right? And I actually think a lot of the time, you only kind of need six or eight photos, do you know what I mean, to really remind you of a whole trip. So I'd love to make like little scrapbooks really using yeah. these of trips and just have sort of six to eight photos in there, maybe a couple of receipts, Craig. You know like those little bits of things that you keep from places. I've got a whole massive bag full of like memories which are just little scraps or it could be a ticket or a, an airline ticket or a little picture or a flyer that I've picked up. So you could almost make like scrapbooks with them, Craig. I think that's what I'd love to do to document some of my trips over the years. Yeah, no, I know exactly what you mean on that one. Such a good idea as well. Absolutely is. I know it's the thinking, yeah, holidays, birthdays, any celebrations like that that you could capture. I bet a lot of people, I know Sarah made one uh, for uh, the grandparents for That's the right. um, homeschooling, the lockdown, the last lockdown. And so a little book that sort of talk, went over the journey that had all been through on homeschooling. I know a lot of people talked about making lockdown memory books as well, Craig, you know, mm -hmm. sort of, because I do think it's one of those things that we will forget about, isn't it? That's you know, right. In, this time next year, you know, fingers crossed, everything goes back to normal for us here in the UK in June. By this time next year, we're going to forget how it felt being cooped up in the house. Or yeah. I think we'll very quickly go back to normal. So it would be really great to document this last year. And it has been literally a whole year, hasn't it now? It's scary um, to think, hasn't it? Yeah. I think uh, it's about... Was it the end of the end of March we went into lockdown here in the UK last year, wasn't it? Yeah. So a couple more weeks and it'll have been a whole year since uh, the whole thing started. So and yeah, great to maybe um, great to, to document that time. That's right. Right. That's right. Because uh, obviously, as well, everyone knows, the first time round I I done the shielding, and I was in Scotland for a week's holiday in March last year, mm. and then had to come home that bit early because of lockdown and then going into shield in the first time round. So it, it, it's, it's really strange, isn't it, Craig, that on one hand it feels like it's been forever, it's been years, yeah. but on the other hand it feels like it's gone like that. So it's it's gone really, so really strange. And someone said to me, uh, someone said to me the other day, we will, in a couple of years' time, we'll look back and we'll only remember the bits we choose to, which that's, are the good that's bits true, that happen. Isn't I think it? that's a really lovely way uh, of thinking about it. I really, really do. Lots of you loving this as well. Craig is making it look so simple to put together. I mean, it, it fed say it's pretty simple, isn't it, Craig? You follow the instructions. It is. Now, just before I do this last bit, Joe, so that's a good example to just show you what I've done. So we've taken that die cut pad and it pad, pad. And then what I've done, so this tab bit here, so we've done two of them. So what I've done is we folded it, so mountain and valley, so we've got what would look like an M or a W, whichever way you want to have it. I've popped adhesive on one side and adhesive on the other. So this side here with the adhesive, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slot that one in so that the score line runs in parallel with the back of your uh, actual uh, pocket. And then we're going to press that one into place. So as I pop that one in, and then we can secure it, as we always like to do, it back and forward, just to eat that up slightly. And then concertina that back into place, so we can now get that effect here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to hold it up, I find it easier to hold it into my hands, and then we're going to press. Now this then gives you your little pocket, so you can see from up above, there is a pocket. Big enough for a gift card, Craig? Absolutely, yep. Absolutely. Perfect for uh, a little gift card. Ta card. 
So then what I'm going to do at this point here is on the back of it, we've got the little fold over tab. So I actually find it easier to pop the front of it on first and then fold this one over the back. So if we fold that one over and then we can press. Now this gives us our little tab. It gives us our little pocket in the middle. That can then go obviously onto either your larger um, memory book or what it does, it can sit into the little tab that you can see here. This one being the perfect size. So if I bring in one of these smaller ones, this is the perfect size. See this back panel here? The only difference, I've used that decorative die. So we've got that scalloped edge here. So what we could do is let's bring this one into place. So for the sake of the demo, let's pop this one in. And this can then sit nicely here. Maybe bring in a magnet or something that's going to uh, actually seal it. But you've then, you've got all these bits, Joe, that you could then come along and you could decorate the front of your pocket depending, of course, on which colour theme that you want to go for. But this could be pattern papers if you want. This could be glitter cards if you want. So changing, obviously, the colours completely. But this is how it's then going to look. It's certainly in one of your smaller memory books. But look, even the colour choice, the difference in colour. But it could be, if you wanted, that actual pocket. See if we can take that off. That could then go on to even one of your larger 8x8 or even your 10x10 one, even down at the bottom if you want to. Maybe have a nice collection, as you say. Maybe a little note in there, maybe a gift card in there. Love letter. Maybe a photo into there, a love letter. Yeah, anything along that line. A lock of hair. A lock of hair. So although it is small and it was obviously came out for the precious memories, there is no reason that you can't use it for the larger spines if you want to as well. You can decorate it as well. Really awesome. nice little set. I love that. Do you know what? I've got, I've got an idea, Craig, for the second hour of the show, right? Right. We've talked a lot about all of the different ways in which you would use these albums, but the one that comes back time and time again is love and marriage, isn't it? That's the one we sort of keep coming back to, anniversaries, wedding days. I would love to see, Craig, pictures of our viewers on their wedding day. I don't think that's one we've done before. Don't think I would so. I absolutely love to see them. If you've got some uh, pictures kicking around of you on your wedding day, could be you on your wedding day, or do you know what? Maybe it could be your children on your or wedding day, your parents on their wedding day, any of those different things. We want wedding photos. Send them into us. Studio at Crafters Companion. .co.uk, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. George Squared are in the gallery awaiting your pictures, so do get them into me. Let me just take you back through the few options that you've seen Craig take us through there. So the tabbed page and purse card is this one here. Now, Craig, I don't know if you agree, but I think, yes, use this for your memory books, but definitely you'll find uses away from your memory books, whether that's, you know, cards or scrapbooks or a whole host of different things. Of course you can. It could be a pocket on the front of a card if you want to, absolutely. Or use it simply for a gift card pocket. You can absolutely. do anything like that. Brilliant. Then we've got the eight inch spine for you, which creates these just here. And that eight inch spine comes with the H8. Comes with the eight inch page. Comes with the eight. What you can't hear is not only is Craig doing it, but they're also doing it in the gallery. And I just honestly, I feel like I'm in an episode of the Moomings. Uh, <laughs> the eight inch, is it the Moomings or the Clangers? I think they're the same thing. The Clangers, oh, I don't know. The eight inch <laughs> page edges was what I was trying to say. Thank you for that. I was so glad to, so good to have your support. Uh, <laughs> we've then got the 10 inch album spine with the 10 inch page edges <laughs> 39.99 54.99 or 59.95 if you want to get hold of that one can you tell it's the last push for me uh craig it's the last push uh it is my uh last day. this is the final episode of my fake friday tonight um i do do you know what craig I, I do look forward to a day off but when i get to like day two of my days off i actually really miss being here yeah and then i'm waiting to come back in so i do and now i do four off and then i do four on so uh, after today i'll have four days off which is awesome uh we've got some pictures already that we'd like to share oh lovely diane has made a memory book for their friend's anniversary i love this uh, so four different pictures you sent out are awesome. Isn't that lovely, Craig? It's 
So nice, isn't it? Look at that, and I love the colours as well. Mix in with the pastel, with the textures, as well as the craft card. Really nice, Diane. I love that one. Brilliant, absolutely love that. And that one there with the twist. Wow. And pop. Wasn't that a Britain's Got Talent act? Twist and pop. Twist and pop, was it? Yeah. Oh, not sure. Reminds me of the bend and snap from Legally Blonde. From what? The bend and snap. Come on, Craig. You don't know what the bend and snap is. It's been ages. You know, when you, you know, you drop something on the floor, you just, you drop down your piece, oh, and then boom, you snap. It's the bend and snap. So You've not that? done it? No. So just, you know, all of a sudden, just seductively, oh, I've knocked my memory book on the floor. Then you seductively bend over, Craig, and then snap. So, <laughs> yeah, that's it, so. I can't do it again because I'm getting really red. Bend over. Bend and snap. Yes, absolutely. You have go. you never if you've not if you've seen legally blonde you'll know exactly what we are on about uh, craig did look a little bit like a meerkat well spotted there georgina you'll know exactly uh what oh we got more pictures i'm so sorry diane uh, <laughs> uh let's see the other pictures for diane honestly really disruptive tonight uh that's beautiful diane i love this one here i love the little sl i love the slidey loose elements craig <laughs> Craig's covered himself in coffee over there doing the bend and snap. Uh, there's the one with the little loose tabs there as well, which is fantastic. Right, do you know what I think we need to do? I think we just need to simmer down, Craig. I think we need to settle ourselves down, don't you? Uh, I think the, the best way for us to uh, do that maybe is to give you a little piece of video and we'll just gather our thoughts and just think about our actions and what we want to achieve in the next hour. Here's all the details of Club Inspire. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery carrier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. you're waiting for indeed make sure you join uh, the club because it's the best way to just unlock even better savings which we actually love now we bring you loads of fabulous crafters companion products here at crafters tv what we also actually have a lot of is third party brands so brands that are not crafters companion i know we do a lot of hunky dory uh, i know we've got a lot more exciting creative expressions products coming down the line we've got nitwits there's loads that we work with and one of the, the third party retailers that we work with is Dreamies. Now, Dreamies is a family-run business based in Derbyshire, and they started off with a lot of MDF pieces like you've got here. They also have a lot of mixed media products. They do adhesives. They've got stamps, dyes. They've got fabulous ink pads and storage. It's a whole host of different stuff. And you'll find it all over on our website, which is fantastic. But these MDF pieces are awesome because they go together and they almost kind of decoupage up. So I'm not sure if you can see. So see like this bit here pops out. His little tail pops out and you can layer them all up. The same with the fox, which is awesome. The, the bunny, the bunny when it's not together looks like it's had a really rough night, Craig. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> yeah, it's lost its head. It's uh, on the 21st of June. <laughs> oh, is it? Isn't it just? Uh, and then you've got the owl here, which is brilliant. Oh, I love elephants. Elephants are my favourite animal, you know, Craig. Oh, we've got the ele oh I've dropped a bit. Oh, no. One of my owls popped out. But it's great how they all just do pop out. And this is what they pop out too, these really lovely little MDF pieces. So if you want to add... Um, if you want to add some texture to your card projects or scrapbooking projects, actually you can. But if you are a, um, a mixed media artist, you're going to absolutely love using this. Brilliant price on those to get six sheets there. 1998 or 2849. Now, even though it is a third party retailer that we're bringing to, we still let you, look, you use your club inspired discount. I know, which is awesome. Right, we've got some stamps for you on the show. And these are the watercolour stamps that we're looking at just here. So you've got three different sets here for you. You. So you've got these ones with a boot here, and then you've also got this one with the vase and the flowers, and then also here as well. I'm a bit fingers and thumbs today, aren't I? You'll have to excuse me. You've got this one here with the Home Sweet Home images as well. Uh, if I show you the one on the back of the Home Sweet Home, you can kind of see that uh, a little more clearly, which is absolutely awesome. So you've got all of those in there as well. Um, right, so that's that. Then what we've got are these. Uh, I'll just change the details. These are the beaming, not any old bunnies. Oh no, they're dead chuff with themselves. They're beaming, these bunnies, uh, which is awesome. <gasps> We've got loads of pictures coming in, Craig. Uh, the uh, Georgina's inbox is flooded, she's letting me know. There's that many pictures coming in. Right. Let's now uh, look at the florets that we've got as well, which are these just here. So what you get in here, I love it, is you get stamps, but you also get corresponding dies. So if you love making your own paper flowers, you're going to absolutely love doing these. Three different sets of stamps and dies in there for that price of $54.99 or $79.99. Make sure you grab a hold of those. Uh, really lovely to bring in uh, some third party products as well. So I'm so glad we we're able to get that on the show. Next up are nesting dies. Now, we did a thing recently. I don't know if we did a thing or it was Debbie did a thing. Someone wrote into one of our shows anyway and said that they were new to paper crafting and what were the essential tools that they needed. And Debbie said essentially uh, a paper trimmer, a scoreboard, um, it was a Gemini Junior and then she gave a list of dies that she said you should all have. And right at the top of them were nesting dies because they are an absolute essential for you if you are new to crafting if you're not new you've been crafting for ages then definitely get some because card blanks tags mats and layers loads of different card concepts all made possible when you have a great set of nesting dies these are them here so you've got the stitched edge circle the stitch edge oval this is the upside down scallop edge oval and then you've got the scalloped edge circle in here. And you've also got as well from the new launch, the stitched primitive flower, which I think just looks awesome there, cut in the yellow. Um, they are the five sets. To get five sets for less than 10 pounds a set is really, really awesome. 42 pounds if you're in the UK, $55. However, the other great thing is if you're a platinum member, you're looking at 3360 or $44. Now that's a saving of almost 60 pounds as a club in, sorry, that's a saving of 30 pounds almost as a platinum member in the UK, a saving of $36 as a platinum member in the US, which is absolutely fantastic. I also need to share with you as well, the stamps. These are proving very busy. Now these are gorgeous. These are abstract stamps. You've got your blossoming floral, which is this one here. You've also got the blooming heart, this one here is the shining star and you've got that gorgeous schmetterling in there as well. 28 pounds or 35 dollars to get your hands on all of those. Loads of great, I mean the, the memory books Craig proving so busy. There's so many other great bits in the show today as well. Uh, what would you like to demonstrate next then Craig? Uh, well I was going to do the nest and dies and then the abstract stamps and then I thought let's just do them together. So that's why? exactly what we're going to do. Why on earth not, we're eh? going to do that. Why not? Why not? Don't know if you've quite noticed any... Well, I know you're going to notice because you noticed Joe's uh, brand new uh, fun, funky shirt this morning. You also noticed my brand new mug. Have you just been and changed? So you'll probably notice I've gone and, and changed. Did you just go to the green room and change? Yeah. <laughs> and just under that VT. He just had a little bit of coffee on his shirt, that was all. I know, but then it just makes it... Like, kind of like obvious, so maybe no, I should go and get a change. A change of shirt doesn't make it obvious, but you know, that little bunny foo foo jump may have spilt my coffee on my uh, light shirt, so change. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to use our abstract stamps as well as our nesting dies. So what I've done is I've taken a card blank, five and a half by five and a half, and what I've done is scored it down in half so we can see we've got a back fold here. Then what I'm going to do is I've already done some mats and layers. So with this yellow layer, still with the pastel, but this one is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. The lilac is five inches by five inches. And then the white is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. That can be our mat and layer for into the middle here. Nine times out of 10 though, what I would do, Joe, is I wouldn't have this as white. I would maybe have pattern paper or something, but I, I don't actually have a pad to hand. So that will be uh, what we're going to use. Then what I've done is I've brought in another piece of our white smooth stamping card. We're going to bring in our large stamping platform and I'm going to secure these with my magnets. And I thought, let's go for the florals for this one. So we're, well, I say floral, uh, blossoming floral, so close. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this onto my white stamping card. Now for this one, it doesn't need to be um, anywhere precise. The only reason I'm getting it as close to the middle is we're going to come along with our nest and dies and cut it out. So then what I'm going to do is let's just press that one in and we've secured it. So I'm going to use our quick dry and I'm going to use fuchsia. And also part of the reason that I've popped it onto my 8x8 stamping platform is so that I can come along and I can actually give this a couple of layers to really make the image pop. So what we can do is we can press. Now something like anyone that's new into crafting or inks or stamping, something like a fuchsia, specifically when it comes to a quick dry, will stain your stamp. Don't worry about it, it's absolutely fine. Just give it a bit of a wipe with a baby wipe or hot, hot water, no, warm water and that's going to take away the ink. However, it will still stain it, but it won't affect any future stamping. And the great thing also with a large platform is not only can we really intensify the colors, anywhere that we've kind of not put as much pressure on, we can go back over the top and because it's in the exact same area, I can press. So we're going to press all of that and make sure we get a nice good coverage, then have a look. Loving the look that that's coming along with now, but let's even do one more impression. So stamping, stamp, stamp, stamp. Make sure we've got a good coverage. Once again, it is a fuchsia and it is a quick dry. And we can come back along and then we're going to press once again. And then what we can do is we can remove this large platform and then we've got a, such a crisp, clean impression. If this was our pigment ink pad, then we could come along with our embossing powders if you wanted to do that. But it's always uh, worthwhile using quick dry if you can when it comes to these ones. So then what I can do is I'm going to come along with our stitched edge circle. Now our stitched edge circle ones are the nest and die set that I use majority of the time. I use these so, so often because they're as close to a plain edge circle die than, um, than maybe like a scalloped or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with one of them. So let's have a look. I'm going to go in. So this one is the second largest circle. Now we've still got a little bit of a gap here. So I might get away with one other size. So that might just be a little bit snug. However, I am going to go with this because I want to do a matte and layer of yellow and lilac. So what I'm going to do is I'm still going to pop that in. So let's turn it so we've got it the right way. And we're going to bring in our low tack tape and we can layer these ones up. So this one, let's layer this one up into place here. And then what I'm going to do is because we can do lots of layers because I've still got my pro to the side of me. Set that one to the side. Now instead of going straight to our next stitch edge. I'm going to mix it up a bit and I'm going to bring in our scallop circles. So I need, I know I need our second largest and also our largest. So I think that is here. So this is our largest one, I'm sure, which it is. And this is the they second largest. They look like happy, largest. shiny little um, sunflowers, I always think. They remind me of sunflowers. Yeah. I love the summer when you get, start getting sunflowers in the shops. 
Yeah. You know, they're quite inexpensive, aren't they? But a massive pop of colour at home. I'm a bit obsessed, you know, with fresh flowers, Craig. Oh, yeah. Like, I have to have fresh flowers in the house at all times. Oh. And they have to all be... I have about four, so I don't have like a big bouquet of them, but what I do have is like little um, vases. So I put like a stem, single stems basically, right all yeah. around the house. And I have to time it so that some of them are in bloom all the time. So like I change half of them on week one and then the other half I change week two. So some of them are always in bloom and some of them are like, yeah. just still green. Oh, what you like? It's like one of those things that really brings me lots of joy. I can't explain why, but yeah. I just love it. I love literally smelling a gorgeous, massive, fresh white lily or something like that. I just, I, I think you're you're like that with the flowers, the same way as I am with like the fragrance from Yankee Candles Absolutely. or the wax smell. You love to see that, yeah. you know, whether it's a bold or whether it is a subtle colour with the flowers. Mm. I'm like that with the fragrance of walking yeah. into my. I have uh, to have candles house. on every night at home as well. I can't not have candles on at home. It just no, doesn't feel right. Just something, isn't but it? But I don't. I usually have one. Um, I usually have one scented candle burning, Craig. My, I'll tell you what, where I love candles from. I'm actually going to bring you one in, Craig, because I know you're a man that loves a candle. Yeah. Audi. Candles from Audi. Now, you know how much of a candle I know you I are, am. But it's, a, it's basically a rip-off of the, uh, you know, the lime, basil and mandarin one? The Mojolone one. Yes, it's a rip-off of that one. Right. Of those. And also Zara, Craig, do some amazing candles. If I can lay my hands on them when shop's open, I'll bring you some in. Mm -hmm. Hold you to that one. So here we go. So I've popped them ones through our uh, Gemini Pro. So we've got our main one. So if we pop this one out, so we've got our circle. So keeping in mind, this was the third largest circle there. So we've got that one. It sits in nicely. And then we've taken our second largest scallop circle. So that's going to sit nicely there. So if I pop that against a lighter colour, See how you've got that kind of sunflower look, that burst of the actual scallops. But then if we take these ones, so let's take this last one, and this can then sit into the middle here. So what we can do is let's move these bits out of the way, and then I'm going to bring in that card blank that we'd made. So let's bring this one back in. Let's bring in our layers. So that's our dotty. Let's use our straight one for now. And we're going to go in all the way. Do you have a favourite flower? Not sure lily. if I've asked you that. Hands down, white yeah. lilies. Yeah, how about you? Uh, well, I, you well know, what I should ask you instead of your favourite flower is what is your favourite Yankee candle scent? <laughs> uh, you know, I've got a couple of them. Have you? Oh, I do. I absolutely adore um, Midnight Jasmine. Midnight Jasmine. Midnight I love that Jasmine. one. I've had that one. I, I went through a phase of buying a lot of Yankee candles. Uh, from QVC, actually, Craig. Uh, so that's where I get all mine. QVC. Can't beat the well, So what's your other than Midnight Jasmine? Uh, midnight Jasmine or uh, Soft Blanket. Soft, soft like, Blanket, so warm yeah. and cosy. And I uh, loved, my favourite were always the, was it Clean Cotton? Clean Cotton. And Baby Powder. And Baby Powder, yep. yeah. I you love like all the, the fresh, fresh ones. Not so much a fan of the fruit ones. The other thing I'm obsessed with as well as flowers is hand creams, Craig. Yeah. Oh, well. I love a hand cream. See, I use uh, a lot L'Occitane. Yep, love those. Yep. I've actually got a mini one in my pocket right now, Craig. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Leanne, right? She's queen of the minis. And I think she's been restocking... So I. <laughs> Craig's both... We've <laughs> both got one as well. I think Leanne's been restocking my minis drawer for me, you know. I think she, she drops a couple in there every now and then because she knows you get quite sore hands. Yeah. yeah. She's so nice like that. She's lovely. She's Don't absolutely mind me, lovely. Hand cream on. Um, so, yeah. Can't beat the value, QVC. Here we go. So what we're going to do is let's take... I mean, shopping's what's really got us through lockdown. Craig. Let's has. be honest about it, isn't it? You know, it's all got us crafting, shopping. There, I mean, there's not really been much else to do. Crafting, shopping and eating, I think, have been the things that have got us through, you yeah. know? Yeah, 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 agree with you on that one as well, Joe. Just doing what we can, can't we, to uh, pass the time. Just got to get through it. Got to get through it. Just got through to get it. through it. No other... Try that one and no... Um, it's not that I, it's not that I, we will explain Craig to you. Craig isn't talking to himself yes. if he's just tuned in. He is responding to the gallery who are suggesting candle um, brands for him and he's not vetoing them. That's what's happening here. Yes, I can never, I can never, is it Sensi? Yeah. See, when people say that, I just automatically go, Sensi. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's sensei, isn't it? Sensei. Yeah. The thing is with them is they only do wax melts, don't yeah, they? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not a fan of a melt, Craig, I must say. Well, I am, 
I am, but I do like your, uh, to actually burn your candles. For you me, know. a candle, burning a candle is actually as much about the flame and the light the yes. flame gets off as it is about the candle. So what I have is every night I have one scented candle burning, Craig, but I actually have two clusters of church candles in the windows that are differing heights. And I have Look those alight. So I've got like four in each window and then my one scented yeah. candle. Yeah. We're going to have to stop talking about candles and get I back know. to the demonstration, Craig, because we are so off piece. Georgina is bringing us back on track. Thank you, Georgina. Absolutely. But I, would, I will just say, as with my absolute two favourite Yankee candles is a calm and quiet place and sweet nothings. And it's so hard to get in the UK now, so if anyone wants to point me in the direction of where I can get them. Uh, um, a calm and quiet place mm. and sweet nothings. It was their spring-summer range three years ago. And they were my new all-time favourites. So, so hard to get a hold of nowadays. Awesome. Um, so, yeah. Uh, Maureen Isha was with you. She loves her Yankee candles, Craig. Yeah. So good. So good. Here we go. Let's take these ones. So what I've done is I've done my mats and layers for this edge of this panel. So I will explain that just in a second. So using the same layers as what I've done with the inside part. So let's bring these ones out. Move them in. So, so we can decorate this panel here, because if you notice, you know, it looks nice, but still you've got this nice bit of decoration here, and on this bit it's still just a bit flat, yeah. very flat. You want to uh, lift it up a bit. So therefore, what we've done, because this one is two and three quarters. I love people are sending in their favourite <laughs> flavours now. A well, Christmas cookie is Jody <gasps> Simonetti. Oh. Love that. Yeah. Um, do you, how about reed diffusers? How do you feel about those, Craig? Uh, I don't have them dotted about. I've got one in my bathroom. Good for small spaces, I yeah. think. They get a bit lost in a big space, don't they? They do. They absolutely do. Yep. And don't get, get me... Last thing, promise. Don't get me started on there as much as I love Yankee Candle. They're relatively new fragrance spheres. I just... Fra so do it again. Fragrance spheres. Fragrance spheres? So spheres. Like they, they're like a... The Tiny water, little... The in the vaporizer things. Tiny little tub and inside there's hundreds and hundreds of little beads. They're, they're like, you know, the little beads you throw in the bath and they yeah. dissolve. They're tight, but I don't get a lot of fragrance for them. But they're, fra they're fragrance and what, and you just have them sat around? Just sat them around, right. yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh. Yankee candles, I love clean cotton and sweet peas, says Susan Elliott. There oh, you are. Oh, I wish they would bring back sweet peas. Do you want... <laughs> Uh, very, very busy now uh, on these nesting dies. Uh, remember, you're getting five different collections in there uh, for that price, which is awesome. See what, see what a difference that makes by having your mat and layer on that panel. Nothing overly decorative, very simple, simple mat and layer, but really finishes it off nicely. So what we can do is we can bring this one in, and I'm still going to layer this one up. And then what I'm going to do is let's bring couple here, here, and then here. Pop in the three, and then this can then go at the side. You can then come along and you can pop your sentiment on. Maybe you want to pop a stamp sentiment, maybe a die cut sentiment, but we can press this one on. Just a nice card, maybe thank you or miss you. Something floral in the middle, but you can see maybe uh, stamp your sentiment as well. Maybe you've got our sentiment stamps that you can pop into the middle. Really nice. Or then flip it on the other side. So if we can come kind of like up close, George. Wonderful. There we go. So there's the card there, Joe. But what about turning it on its back? And then there we go. Put a little stopper there. Oh. And we've got a like little an upside down easel. fancy easel. Love that. So there really great go. idea. Um, we're going to have to have a word with Karen Fisher, though, I'm afraid, Craig, in uh, Florida. Right. She doesn't like candles that smell like food. <gasps> really? I know. I'm sure good, Karen. She says, uh, anything that smells like vanilla or cookies just makes me hungry. Oh, How about vanilla. lemon? How about lemon and citrus? Does that count? There's no calories in candles, Craig, which is very, nope. very true. Um, Diane loves all of the pumpkin spice scents. Yeah. Very autumnal. Yep. Very, very autumnal. Right, and let me read... Sorry, Craig. No, I was just about to say, also a fragrance, a uh, pumpkin style that we don't get a lot here in the UK. Mm. Um, it's more like a USA side. It We're is indeed. More. Now, let me run you back through these uh, nesting dies, uh, which are awesome. So you've got the Gemini uh, stitched edge circle. You've got the stitched edge oval. 
So this one here is your scalloped edged oval and you've also got the scalloped edged circle and you're going to get the stitched primitive flower in there as well. So you've got those, don't forget, £42 or $55 if you want to get your hands on those. As a platinum member, uh, you're going to get an even better deal, of course. You'll be able to get them for $33, 60 or $44, which is awesome. The stamps, these are busy also. Uh, what you've got here are the abstract shapes. So you've got the, the general sort of abstract shape there, but you've also got sentiments in there that are going to enable you to create a whole project. So you've got the same here for the heart really lovely uh, you've got the star with the stars in which i think is awesome and then the schmetterling with all the little schmetterlings in there as well which is just lovely uh, leslie t says craig just looked up a calm and quiet place for you found it amazon and they ship to the uk awesome. pop a link in uh, pop a link in that absolutely do joyce sampson isn't she a dream joy she says the stamps are wonderful i love them and the sentiments that came with them i must say as if by magic joy because i just got Today in the post, can I share with you what the lovely Joy sent me? Please do. I came in today and there was a lovely envelope which I found and uh, inside of it was this gorgeous card that Joy had made and sent to me. Oh, look. How beautiful is that? It's just gorgeous. Can I read what she's written inside? She says, Dearest Joe, uh, sending so much love to you. Always love Joy. How nice is that? I love that she's even matte and layered the inside of the card as well, Craig. So nice, Look, isn't it? Matte and layered on the inside too, which I think is beautiful. Thank you so much, Joy. Uh, when I opened that today, it really touched me. Uh, and as, um, yeah, it was just so lovely to receive something so nice. So thank you so much. Now, shall we do some wedding pictures, Craig? I think we're going to get some fabulous throwbacks. Um, George has been very busy. Uh, is all I can say. It wasn't the turn of phrase that Georgina used. He's been very busy getting these together for us. So let's have a little look at some of them. Craig, these are epic. Carol Taylor's son's wedding. Love that. Oh, look. Love Carol that. Taylor's son is abs he's maybe the tallest man I've ever seen. He's so tall. Uh, also, Alison sent these ones in to us. Oh, I love that. We're looking, I think we're heading into what, very early 90s there, I Craig? I think so. I think so. Love that. Love the sleeves on that dress, Alison. Really lovely. Oh, how classy does Ebony look? Look at Ebony Freeman's wedding photo, Craig. Oh, that no, dress. that's classy. Look at the Say dress. Say yes to the dress, Craig. Looks beautiful. Jennifer Holiday. I think she's rocking a sort of mid to late 80s vibe here. I love it. Definitely. I'm loving the hair, Jennifer, as well. And that cake. Look at that. It's a skyscraper. Absolutely Huge. love that. Thank you so much for sending that into us, Jennifer. Uh, Lee Allen sent this one in. I'm loving how tropical this one's looking. Look at the palms. Guess the year. I'm going to say 88. What was it, George? 93. I love it. The flowers are all so epic. Love those. Oh, Anne sent us this next one in, which I think is awesome. We've got a whole collection. Wedding day, 10 year renewal, oh, and 19 year anniversary. How awesome is that? Just fantastic, oh. thank you for that one. Katie sent this one in. Do you know who Katie reminds me of in this picture? The actress who is in The Queen's Gambit. Oh, I've what not seen name? that. What's her name? Georgina? <laughs> Both of you are saying it at the same yeah. time, so I can't hear what either of you are saying. One of you, go on, one more time. Anna Taylor Joy, thank you. Uh, Katie, uh, you look absolutely stunning on your wedding day. You really, really do. Uh, the next one we've got is from Karen, Karen Smith. Uh, and this looks beautiful. I am loving uh, the white there, Karen. How awesome is that? But look at that pop of red within the flowers within beautiful. the bouquet. So white, like crisp white, isn't crisp it? Crisp white. Really is awesome. Laura Marshall, I mean, it looks like she got married in a vineyard or something, Craig. Oh, look, absolutely gorgeous. What a gorgeous really bride beautiful. as well. Yeah, it was an old railway station. They spent a year painting over 200 jam jars. Ooh. And her mum spent the year sewing 200 metres of bunting. Fabulously British, I love it. Laura May. I mean, not that it was a mistake, Laura. Everyone seems to be laughing at Laura. Uh, Laura May called this, it was a Brady Bunch wedding. I love it. Fantastic. Oh, the next one, Craig. Ooh. We're going vintage in the next one. Linda, I am loving that veil. 
Isn't that fabulous? Isn't that absolutely something? I mean, what a great, great picture. Uh, we've got we've got one more. Let's just do the one one more. So Lisa sent us this one in. Oh, I'm thinking we're a bit late seventies, early eighties here, Craig. Uh, Love it. I'm I'm going to say uh, mid seventies. Really, I love the flowers that she's wearing. I also love the stripe up the side of the trousers as well. Mm. I think you both look incredible there, Lisa. Oh, how lovely is that? If you want to send us some more in, absolutely you can. If you haven't sent them in yet, studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send them into. Right, we're going to go back to the spines next, I believe. So let me share these with you. So what you've got is the eight-inch spine, which is this one just here and that is going to come with of course the uh, eight inch page edges that is going to make for you this size memory book just here which I think is absolutely gorgeous then what we've got is the 10 inch now if you want to use a 10 inch be our guest but you will need to have the Gemini Pro in order to do that you know what if you're thinking well maybe it's a good excuse to get a pro then well you're in the right place because tomorrow uh, Craig has a pro masterclass and both they are in stock both in the UK and the US so that's what you're going to be making with the 10 inch spine and you're also going to have the 10 inch page edges as well there for you too which I think is absolutely awesome very very busy at the moment a lot of love for everyone's pictures uh, across on social media as well which is fantastic uh, okay Craig so the 8 inch I'm guessing that is the process the same with the uh, two different sizes 8 inch is exactly the same as what I've done with the 10 inch, no different whatsoever. So what we can do is let's go in with the 10 inch here. So what I'm going to do, do you know what we'll do actually, just so that we can show you uh, how it absolutely does work with the Daddy Gemini. So what I'm going to do, let's move our Pro to the side. Let's actually, do you know what, let's just uh, keep our turntable on. Let's bring in our Daddy Gemini. So you can still use your 8 inch with the Pro, that would fit, but you can of course use the 8 inch with your large Gemini. Actually the word, the word uh, large doesn't really do it just, well, it's not large now is it, you know it's... It's the, uh, the OG. The, uh, the OG. The original, the, not the original gangster, no, the original Gemini. I still just call it the Daddy, Daddy Gemini. Still the Daddy Gemini in my eyes. But here we go. So I've taken a piece of 12 by 12 texture card and I'm going to quickly chop that one up just so it's going to fit into place. So what we can do is we can go on in here. So once again, this is our A4 platforms. So plastic magnetic top plate. Once again, I do like to just uh, reiterate the fact that I know so many of you have got the Gemini. You know, you don't just have to work or use the Gemini for all of our dies to work. You know, if maybe you've got another die cut machine out there, maybe uh, Spellbinder, Sapphire, Tonics, Tangerine, anything like that, you can still use our dies, uh, as long as obviously it's an A4 platform. The, the, the original one looks small now, Craig, now you've had the- It does, the, doesn't it, yeah. I mean, it always looks so big, doesn't it? Now that we've got the Pro and the Pro's been on there, it kind of looks quite small in comparison. It looks really quite small, especially when I know obviously that's still the Daddy Gemini, but when you see pictures of everyone on social Pop media... Pop the mini on top of the Pro, just for a laugh. So... <laughs> so put them... Let's just... Like that one. Why is it funny? I don't know. I don't it know. So... It really, it is like the, uh, it's like the Airbus A380 of the uh, die-cutting world, Craig. I love it. How cool is that? It's so cool. That is so cool, isn't it? Do I chance it? Do no. I chance it? <laughs> Just to say, don't do this at home. Don't you do this at do home. You can't do it and then say, don't do it at home. <laughs> yeah, do you know, doesn't that, that look spectacular. You've that got really to admit. If you do do it at home, I take no responsibilities. I'm telling you right now, do not do this at home. <laughs> this is it's just, just what it looks illustrative, like. for illustrative purposes only, Craig. Absolutely it is, but it does, looks quite cool, looks quite cool. So what we can start to do, uh, oh let's just put our pro back, now that we've done the die cutting. What we're then going to do is, if I show you this one, now it's going to look no different to the 10 inch, the only different being Joe is it's slightly smaller, and the fact it is 8 inch. So if I go that way, and then I'm going to stay still, and then as soon as, there we go, thank you very much, and then I am going to move, just see if we can start to tilt it, 
So I'm going to go that way. We're st there we go. So all these embossed lines and all that I can say is, believe me, when you see it up close, it is a lot clearer. It's just you're seeing it through screen, through a screen, through a screen. We've got all our embossed lines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold these ones over. So we're going to fold and we're going to go into, I fold all the way down where the two crosses should meet. And then the actual kind of like quarter of an inch where the, the spine part is. That one is a valley fold, but what I like to do is uh, incorporate that into the fold later on. And I'll explain that in a bit more detail in a minute. So what we can do is fold in along the score lines into place. And then what we can do is if I bring them back on themselves, using our adhesive again, still using our tape runner for this one. However, what I would be doing at home is using our tacky glue, our white glue. So I folded that, folded that, and I fold so that I've done that way, done that way, and then you do this way. So let's go into place. So now what I can do, and when it comes to our texture cardstock, if that is what you're using, uh, don't worry if you see these white cracks because what's going to happen is when we fold them back together on top of themselves, it will be eliminated. So what I'm then going to do is let's use our we've got a straight tape runner. So we're going to go all the way down. So popping an adhesive onto each strip. Hannah Law says it's called the Gemini Pyramid, Craig. Nice Gemini, Gemini, Gemini pyramid. pyramid. I'm going to come in tomorrow and I'm going to get called into the office and they'll be like... You, actually um, were, you were missing two though, in fairness. You didn't have the MIDI or the Go on there, to be fair. Uh, uh, sorry, Joe, what was that? You didn't have the Go or the MIDI on there, really. Oh, I never did that. There's a challenge for tomorrow for you. Oh, oh Georgina, be, you should know me by now. Ben, you're with Ben tomorrow, so let, Ben can take the fall if, if See, anyone you, needs to. You say to me, Craig, don't do it. That's like a red rag to a bull to me. Telling me not to do something, I'm going to do it. Not that I'm going to define you, but you know. The <laughs> mini looks really, really mini on top of the pro, uh, says Ange. It really, really does. I think what's important there, though, the takeaway is, Craig, that there is a Gemini for every job, isn't there? For whether absolutely. you are on the go, whether you're doing quick things, whether you want a quick pass, whether you're doing absolutely massive 12 by 12 projects, 12 by 12, 12 by 12, 12 by 12 projects. We've got you covered, no matter. Really, do they gang up on you? Yeah, well, Johnny does. Throws me under the bus all the time. No, you don't, that's because I can't get a word in edgeways. You, the hilarious thing was that was, you was gonna say, what you actually said, Craig, was I can't, I can't, you can't bully me because I can't get a word in edgeways. Georgina actually was talking at you while she was trying to say it, so she didn't hear it anyway, because no. she wasn't letting you get a word in edgeways. No, no, I know. <laughs> I um, mean, so poetic, timed that better. was quite poetic really, wasn't it, Craig? Couldn't have timed that better if we tried. No. Yeah. <laughs> She's muted us. Uh, oh, what a relief. We'd be lost without her, that's for sure. Oh, very, very her. busy, Craig. Uh, a lot of people letting me know they're going for the eight inch album spine. Laurie's saying Burrell. that she's gone for it today. Uh, Jacqueline says she can't wait till her spine dies arrive. A lot of people went for both of them, you know. Uh, the lovely Mary Ahada letting me know that she has bought hers as well. Mary in Tennessee is a friend of the show. Um, yeah, loads of you got these when they least look. Ebony, the lovely Ebony, whose wedding photo we just saw, Craig, she says she ordered the eight inch spine over the weekend. I'm going to make a memory book for my husband. For Father's Day, how so nice. glorious. June's got her eight inch spine as well. Uh, Marianne has ordered the eight inch spine to go with the precious memory set she already received. She's gonna make eight, uh, she's gonna make albums of her four grand nephews. They're all under the age of six. That sounds like a lovely That's thing great. to do, isn't it? Such a good idea, isn't it? Marianne's just ordered the inverted nesting scallop dies uh, from the other day as well. I think you'll love those. Yep. Uh, Susie T says her dreamy stuff arrived this morning. My daughter is going to love them for her birthday next month. Oh, I hope I'm going to surprise her wife. So good. Think of the fun you're going to be having. She certainly. wouldn't have told me if it was a surprise because people know that I'm terrible with secrets, Craig. So I think we must be all right. I'm going to guess we're OK. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do like to give away some secrets, don't you? I do. I do love it. I have to stop myself so much, you know. I'm not going to be in the circle of trust for much longer at this rate, you know. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far. I would still trust you with my life. Would you? Yeah. Oh. 
I maybe wouldn't tell you secrets. something that I want to keep private, but sorry, I maybe wouldn't tell you something I want to keep private. <laughs> that you know, I would I mean, trust you with my and life. And that's a good thing with friends. You know what? For, and friends are great for certain things, aren't they? You know, yeah. some friends are you know good for for being there for you, and some are really terrible at keeping secrets. You just got just got to work it yeah. all out. No, I would absolutely joking aside, I would trust you a hundred percent. Not only just with I my love life, your misguided trust, Craig. Oh, uh, I, I, <laughs> no, no, not at all, <laughs> not at all. So here we go. We've got our spine. So here is the inside part. So this is where we've got all these little tabs that we can put our pages in. So what we're going to do, sim not similar, exactly like the 10 inch one. So what you can do is have your pages that are eight inch in height and automatically you would think eight by eight. But as long as they're eight inch in height, you might want to have them eight by eight. You might want them eight by four. You might want them even longer. So tell you what, let's do that with this one here. So let's bring in my guillotine. So we're brought in our guillotine here and I've bought a bit of a uh, lighter purple card. So we'll do the eight inch, so the height. So we'll do eight inch. So we've got this one here. So we've got that one there. So this is what I mean, that you can have it any length that you want. As long as you know that you've got it really stabilized, so using your tacky glue or your all-purpose, what we can see here, so you can make it as long as you want. But let's just shorten it slightly. So let's do, let's go for, let's go eight by 10. Eight by 10, we'll do the same on this one here. And then what we can do is eight, by 10. And what I'm even going to do this time, Joe, is let's bring in a couple of those uh, edger dies, so the decadent edges. Show you how you can decorate the edge. So here's that one, that one, move that one out of the way. Let's bring in, so have I got my eight inch ones? Here we go. No, 10 inch. This was my eight inch ones. So we're going to go in here. Now you've got a number of different choices. So you've got four in total. So you've got your scarlet one, you know, well, I'm not even going to go through them because I don't even know what shapes they are. Really nice, decorative, intricate shapes. So let's go for this one here. And then what we're going to do is because of, of course, the Gemini, let's layer both of them up at the same time. Going to cut through two of them. That plate is Mahusi that you've got. Is that the 12 by 18? What was that, sorry? Is that the 12 by 18 you've got there? The, the plates. plates. Mahusi. Yes, yes. So I could have been throughout the whole show using the 12 by 12. These would have won, uh, worked fine with the 12 by 12. But what I'm going to do is uh, just use the A3. I, I always call them the A3. So that's what they are. So two layers together. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop our die up side to side. If you wanted to measure in to make it a bit more exact, can of course use the grids with the plates being see-through. One of the great things is we can always use the grids on the glass mat throughout. So we're taping that one on and that one on. And then what we can do, plastic magnetic top plate. There we go. And then what we could do, and also to show as well, I could have used my Daddy Gemini plates, the A4 ones, because they'll just go in sideways. Oh, awesome. And they're going to go through that way. So it's, I just find it's just ingenious the way that it's been worked out and the fact of the Gemini Junior plates can go through the Daddy Gemini then the Daddy Gemini plates can go through the Beast machine. And of course, when it comes to the Beast machine or the Pro, we can use our A3 or of course we can use our 12 by 12. Mm -hmm. So we've got, pardon me, we've got... <laughs> Is that the machine? <laughs> Joke. Oh, dearie me, dearie me. I wish we could reiterate some of the things we said. We told you no, Craig. I really do, yes. <laughs> really do wish. Uh, it did sound like a... A, 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 a little pump. A, a, <laughs> was it a little one? Uh, yes, it was the machine. Why did it make that Why did it make that noise though, incidentally, Craig? Was it, did you have wonky plates? No, no, okay. brand, brand new Just plates. Was cutting I it. think what it was is, I'm pretty sure, even a... There is no cover in this. Um, no, the, on, the only thing that I can think of is although we've got our two layers here, do you notice I put them in straight? So sometimes, do you know how Sarah was showing yes. you put your cardstock at a bit of an angle? Right, okay. Probably that is what, what it was. Wasn't me, just a voucher. It was not me, whatever anyone thinks or says. It wasn't me. Um, so that's the only thing that I, I can think of. 
Uh, but, Mary is saying she can't wait to make memory books for her mum and dad. Oh, that's going to be so much fun. Karen's ordered the 10 inch memory book spines. Chemistry and Biology says she bought these to make <laughs> scrapbooks for my daughter's friends when they graduate from high school next year. What a lovely, uh, lovely way of using these. I think you're going to come up with so many uses from photo albums to recipe books to uh, incredible memory books, uh, holiday scrapbooks. There's so much that you're going to be able to do with these. Remember as well, if you have the original memory book system, this size one, the sort of, well, it looks diddy now, doesn't it, compared to the it other does. two? But if you do have this and you have all the original elements that are within here, so, you know, things like your twist and pop, um, your waterfall as well. I'll actually, sh I'll, show you, I'll show you this just quickly. If you've got all the original bits, so like the twist and pop, uh, if you've got the waterfall elements, any of the elements that were in your original memory uh, book, they will all work inside these ones as well. So it's not like we're asking you to fully replace something. Uh, you're just really upgrading, really, is the best way to think about it. We are indeed. So here, we're upgrading, I like that one, I like that. So what I've done on this bit here already is I've popped my adhesive down this strip here. So what we can do is we can back in our first layer. So we're popping it up to our score line. So where I've got my score line, popping that one up, and then we're going to press. And then we're going to press, 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 just to get that heat to build up slightly. And then what we can do on this full part here, we're going to add more adhesive. So we're going to work all the way around. Also using my tape runner and actually the dotty tape runner for speed. But we're going to go around. Even this part, I would use our tacky glue. So what we can go and add the these into place. And then what we can do is we can uh, do a sandwich layer. So we're going to do that back to back into place here. Line them up on top of each other. Press. And then we're just going to press. Get that adhesive going. Popping it in. Press, press, press. So we're getting that adhesive to layer together. This is going to make this page really, really sturdy. So if we lift this one up, so we'll see. So we've got the front of our memory book. And then there is our first page that we can see here. So if I go from up above, there is our first page here into this one here. So you'd carry on and go all the way along on the other four. What you can also do is on this part here, Joe, is you can just put one extra sheet all the way to the left-hand side, just so that the edge of the spine covers it up. But then what you're doing, you're going to repeat that step time and time again throughout the other layers. Once you've done all four layers, even one layer at the back, one at the front, this is now kind of like your canvas. So whether you are using your twists and pops, whether you're using your stamps, your photos, anything along that line, this is now going to be your canvas, your card blank, or whichever term that you want to, to uh, mentally think of it as to get decorating on. So lots of fun you could be doing, having that part. But just say the fun is also in construction, the, constructing the memory book as well. That's a good part as well, because you know of what you can potentially be popping on the actual book. Brilliant. Uh, now, let me recap those album sizes again for you. So let me just share these with you. So you've got, remember, the 8-inch one, which is this one just here. Is there an upside down way? I don't know, but you've got the 8-inch album, and then you've also got the page edges. Uh, and that's going to make for you this size. I think, do you know what, even if you were just making the 8-inch, I think it is a really, really good size, and it gives you a lot of options. Oh, Craig, I love that page. Have you seen that one? So it's, nice. there, it's there as a page, but then what someone's done is connected an extra page there, and then actually an extra page there as well. Mm -hmm. So it actually opens up three Gorgeous. sides. Gorgeous, pages and pages and pages, isn't it great? Uh, you've then got, of course, in here, things like your waterfall as well, which are just there. Uh, lovely sort of tabbed elements here. Oh, does that one come off? Yeah. Think about it. great use of magnets here as well. Things like the twist and pop uh, that you've got in there. I just love them. I think they're brilliant. So that's the 8-inch size. And then you've also got the 10-inch size as well, which is this one just here. So let me just share with you what that looks like. This is your 10-inch um, memory book. Uh, and then the page... I'm very fingers and thumbs tonight. The page edges are there for you as well, which is... <laughs> What's that? Is that an impression of me? No, I was doing the Mimmons thing. Oh, again. okay. I know, I just, I can't get my words out. Uh, lots of you still chatting away. Di uh, Do Donna, sorry, Donna. Donna <laughs> says, uh, <laughs> I am waiting uh, for my dies. I'll be making scrapbooks for my niece's wedding. 
Donald Walker says, I have this die and I haven't had the chance to use it. This makes me want to go home and get busy trying the demonstrations. I hope we've inspired you, uh, Donna. Um, and then Mary says, all I want to do is make a scrapbook after watching these demonstrations. Scrapbooking truly is my first love. Um, lots of you chatting away, so a lot of questions coming in as well. I'll put those over to Craig. Uh, now, Craig has got a fantastic Gemini Pro a masterclass tomorrow. We'll make sure you join in for that. Should we have a little look at all the fabulous features of the Pro? I think we should. Supersize your die cutting and embossing potential with the Gemini Pro. With a huge 12 by 12 cutting platform as standard, this machine is perfect, not only for larger projects and batch making, but also for cutting all elements, mats and layers for your smaller projects in one pass too. The machine is capable of cutting through all sorts of materials, including card, craft metal, leather, wood, felt, and multiple layers of fabric. The power, pressure, and performance that you've come to expect from the Gemini family of electronic die cutting machines has been enhanced to the next level. It's been engineered for superb edge to edge cutting of up to 12 by 18 size materials with perfect results every time. In the box, along with your Gemini Pro machine, you'll receive two clear cutting plates, a rubber embossing mat, a magnetic shim, plastic shim and metal shim, all 12 by 12. Power cord, plus of course your comprehensive instruction booklet that will guide you through the plate combinations you need for your different dies and embossing folders. Larger 12 by 18 plates are also available separately to boost your creativity even further. So, whether you're a card maker, scrapbooker, create paper or fabric embellishments, table decorations, wedding stationery, or keepsake gifts, to name but a few, this machine will revolutionize your crafting experience. All the details there of uh, the Gemini Pro, which is fantastic. Now, every day through National Craft Month, we've been giving away a whole host uh, of crafty goodies, and today is no exception uh, whatsoever. Uh, so there is this awesome uh, bounty of craft stuff that someone's gonna win. And we've actually got a winner, I believe. That winner uh, is, is going to be Pauline Taylor. Uh, she commented on Facebook during Wake Up Call, so congratulations, uh, Pauline. You are the lucky winner of all of those items, which is absolutely fantastic. So uh, do take advantage of those. How brilliant uh, are they? She need, you need to... No, we'll reach out to you, Pauline, don't worry. Uh, someone will reach out to you uh, where you commented, uh, and they will be in touch, which is absolutely awesome. Right, we're going to move on to the nesting dies, uh, which are these ones just here. Now, uh, these are fantastic. Here you've got the a stitched edge circle which is that one just there which I love uh, you've then also got as well the stitched edge oval which is awesome we also have the scalloped edge oval and we've got the scalloped edged circle there as well which is fantastic so do uh, take hold of those you're also getting sorry excuse me I almost tried to short change you there didn't I you're gonna get the primitive flower in there as well 42 pounds or 55 dollars to get a hold of those a great price really when you consider you're getting 46 dies within there 33.60 or 44 dollars for Club Inspire Platinum members uh, right Craig uh, what would you like to share with us next so what I've got is I've got an A5 card blank here and then what I've done is I've popped a bit of a purple texture card stock so I've measured that so anyone wanting to know it is five and a quarter by eight inches so that's going to actually be the basis of our card blank here then what I'm going to do is I've got this uh, kind of like mint texture card stock and also a piece of our white smooth stamping card and then I'm going to go back to shock horror i'm going to go back to my stitched edge circles because i just love them so much and then what we're going to do is we're going to take all of these dies and i'm going to go for a couple at a time so if we go for the largest one and we're also going to go for the next size down tell you what what we're actually going to do let's do it onto a4 card so we can get a few more i've always uh, also gone back to my daddy gemini so i've got my a4 plates so what we're going to do is we want to actually create rings. So what we're going to do is layer them on, set them into place. And because I'm doing them together, Joe, what I'm wanting to do is just make sure I've secured them down perfectly. So they're not going to jump or move. And I'm then, let's pop that one in. 
So this could then be you know, a frame, an aperture, you know, because it's going to be a frame, you could be using it to uh, pop around a picture or the shaker element. A few different ways in which you can use these uh, in this way. So what I'm going to do is let's take each of these ones. So I'm taking each size down and we're going to be using them together. So once again, with these ones here, all that I'm doing is the two sizes and we're going to do and frame them together. Susie T rightly, rightly says, great pricing on the nesting dies. Wow, really they are, are a great price. You're almost looking at a half price deal for platinum members, which I think is brilliant, uh, really, really brilliant. And an absolute essential to have in any craft bag or craft room at home. You'll always need them. Doesn't matter how many times I like to do my own mats and layers. I cannot do mats and layers with circles. It's impossible. Or ovals, or stitch circles, or, or scalloped ovals. So you can see on this one here, and then we're going to take a few more here. Pop them ones in. Let's do that one, and then we can run these ones through. We're going to pop that one here. So what we can do is tape that in, secure that one. So this then is going to give us one, two, three, four, five rings. Five gold rings. Four French. Four French horns. Two French horns. They French horns. Cream buns. Four oh. turtle doves. Four turtle doves. Three cream buns. Two French horns. Six Yankee candles. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get me started, Craig. I'm almost delirious as it is. Dances with Pan says she loves crafters' companion nesting dies. I have a bunch of them and they are great. What do you use them for, Pam? I would love to know uh, because they are great for a whole host of different uses, aren't they, Craig? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So straight away, mats and layers, number one. But then think of your card blanks. You can do your easels with them as well, no matter what nesting die shape you're doing. Use them as a frame. What I mean by that is if I take at least one of them off, we've got a frame. So this could frame your card, frame your picture, frame your sentiment. This could then obviously be the center part, nest them on top of each other. So create your decoupage or your pyramage, but then do them on the reverse uh, feature. It's hard to explain without actually seeing them. Go across on a Pinterest or anything like that and look up um, in a page. So do the in a page where it's going to be looking inwards. Lots of things you can do with your nest and dies. So what we can then do is if we've got this one here and we've got all these other ones. So let's bring these, these and these. Marie wants to know which one do you use the most, Craig, and which is your favourite of all the nesting dies? Stitch dead circle. The one is I it? use the most and my most favourite one. Okay. Most. I am not... And no hesitation whatsoever nope. there, Marie, was there? No, not at all. You will see that... The two Debbies, uh, Jan and Sarah, they do a lot of twisted easel cards, side stepper cards. I don't do a lot of them because it's not my, what's, I like crisp, clean cut edges. You'll see me doing seven by seven, eight by eight, all those sorts of cards. Um, so there's a reason I started that. Why was I starting that? I've lost my train of thought. Not a clue. Not a call. Um, so, so it was, uh, so it's my favorite. Nest and dies. No, no idea. Uh, Christine says, circles are the hardest to cut yourself. Uh, so therefore, the nesting circles are the best as far as she's concerned. Patricia says, nesting dies are her favourite and I'm glad to have at least a dozen sets. I've just ordered the seven of the inverted ones as well. Uh, there are the, the uh, these ones are on a great deal. The, the inverted ones are actually on, is it tomorrow, Georgina? Inverted nesting dies. I think they're coming up tomorrow in one of the shows tomorrow. So uh, make sure you tune in if you want to see those. Uh, tomorrow, 7 p.m. tomorrow night, launch party. Is that with you, Craig, or is that with our Sarah? Uh, it must be with Sarah. I think that's with yeah. the lovely Sarah and be Ben. So make sure you tune in for that. Absolutely. I still can't remember why I was um, going on with that subject. So I know it was to do with... I'm glad that you've not drawn too much attention to it and you've just moved swiftly on. Yeah. I know, because people would still be like, uh, does he... Anyway. What we're going to do... So I'm popping these ones on here. So if I secure them ones into place. So I'm pressing it. So there's a couple of things. So what I want to do is cut these ones out. So there's a couple of ways we can do that. We can, of course, stick them onto place like we are doing right now and then trim around them because uh, I don't mind trimming. I like to fussy cut. The other option that we can do, let's snip these ones out for now. 
The other option that we can do is for these remaining two that I've got, so to show you, if we bring in our dies again, so we want this largest one, which is going to be the backdrop for this one, and then we need this one here. So we can take this one and then this one, which is that one. So maybe you can't do a lot of fussy cutting, you don't feel comfortable doing fussy cutting. The other option then is to take that largest die that does the outline of this one, pop it into place. So let's take that and that, and I'm gonna pop that one there. Let's see, can we fit that one there? Nope, let's tape it down instead. We're gonna trim it. And then while this is going through, what I can do is with my scissors, I can fussy cut around these ones that I've got here. So let's run this one through our Gemini. So pay, taking these ones here, popping it into place, any, uh, like any other die. Now don't forget, when it comes to our dies, because our wafer thin dies or any wafer thin dies out there that you've got, you can foil with them. So you could be using these nesting dies and you could foil a nice outline, a nice outline all the way around, and then that could be your sediment or your topper. So you've got that option as well. So we can remove these ones now. So this is our two ways to create that backdrop. Either use the coordinated die, and we can then pop that straight over the top with our glue, or just use the frames, pop them onto our cardstock, and then what we can do is come along and we can then fussy cut all the way around. So there's a couple of options in which you can do that. So all that I'm gonna do for this next moment or two, Joe, is just fussy cut all the way around. Awesome, uh, Dances with Pam has got back to me. She says, uh, Joe, I love them for shaker cards and they make wonderful mats behind my focal images on my cards too, which is awesome. Tansy Pans uh, says, I love the inverted nesting dies. I just made a card with them this afternoon and they are absolutely Brilliant, so pleased to hear that, Tansy Pans. Uh, tomorrow, launch party. Uh, ben is back with you tomorrow. Ben will be back with you uh, for a few days. Uh, and then the lovely Rebecca will be here again on Friday. And I'll be back with you again on Saturday uh, for Play Your Crafts Right. Me and you, Craig, are here. It and is, I'm good back job in. Good job neither of us are very competitive, isn't it? Oh, this is going to be interesting, this is. It really is. I'm one nil down as well. We're going to do, uh, you know, presenters, going to try and keep a telly, presenters versus experts. It's one zero at the moment to the experts. So definitely all to play for uh, on Saturday. So make sure you join us both yeah. uh, for that. Uh, Lynn says, on the first day of crafting, my true love sent to me a brand new Gemini machine. Awesome. We could rewrite that for Christmas, Craig. We could do, yeah. We could have a charity single on our hands, you know. We, we could, and the thing is, that could keep going and going. You know, that could be uh, on the 963rd days of Christmas, my oh, true love gave a lot. to me. I mean, I don't, yeah. I, mean, I guess that... you could only have 365 days because you go back around to the next year again. I'm just thinking of Christmas, eh, Christmas products, crafting products, thousands and thousands of products. So many. You know, you could go through each individual quick dry ink pad, each individual colour. I mean, I wonder how many, I wonder how many, someone will know someone, you know, how many products we have. You know, all the individual variants yeah. of products as well. There must be, because obviously must be a sort of an inventory created to, for, to, to log be. every single product ever. So there must be a number. There must be a number. I know PPE yeah. Pam has got a spreadsheet of all of our shows that Crafts is TV on. I think actually Sarah was working with Pam to maybe try and get that digitalised and on our website at some point. Because, really? Yeah, Pam knows all, every show ever basically is in a, is in a catalogue. So she knows where to go for which product. That is awesome, isn't it's it? Incredible, isn't it? Absolutely awesome. So what I've done to start with, Joe, randomly place them over that back. But it just reminds me of Mr. Blobby here in the UK. Mr. Blobby? Blobby, 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 Blobby. Yeah, Noel's House Party. Blobby, 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 Blobby. Saturday night TV show. Yeah, just if this. no, you won't understand that if you're not in the UK. It was oh, Noel, really? we used to have a programme called Noel's House Party. Yeah. And it was basically meant to be set in his house. But his house was a TV studio. And, and the yeah. doorbell, bing bong, would go and all people would turn up. And then Mr. Blobby was this... It's like a teletubby -like character, a bit like scary. a big pink Teletubby. Yep. Uh, it was the the strangest thing ever. And he just got around going blubby blubby blubby. Oh, blubby blubby. blubby. And he actually went to number one. He did. In the UK the blobby charts. Song. The Blobby song. Christmas number Mr. one. Mr Blobby, Mr Blobby. That's all I can sing. That's all it did. Blubby blubby blubby. 
<laughs> Craig, it's fake Friday. You're meant to be. You're like, I dug you out the hole. You're not meant to be digging me into the holes. You're meant to be helping me keep. It's Monday for you, Craig. It's Friday for me. You're meant to be helping me keep it together. Uh, not only is it Monday for me, I'm in till Saturday as well. Absolutely. So I've got you. My Monday will be your Friday, your actual Friday, which will be Saturday. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. Are we in all day together on uh, Saturday, Craig? Uh, yeah, I want to say I'm in all day Saturday. It's going to be fun. Uh, let's have it a look. Saturday, yeah. Uh, yeah, absolutely. All day Saturday. Play your crafts right, craft along and... Oh, what's craft the craft house? along? Sorry? What's the craft along? So it is our uh, recently new interchangeable sentiments. Oh, I love craft along. So what I am going to say is uh, tomorrow I'm working on what is going to be the craft along. So if anyone asks at the moment, Craig, what you're doing, uh, well, I have an idea of what I'm doing, but when it comes to product listing, I'll finalise it all tomorrow and all going well by Wednesday, we'll get that list out to you. Not only the list, but also the picture as to what we're going to create. Debbie Fisher so. has won Card of the Week two weeks running with her craft alongs, Craig, so, you know, no pressure. No, no pressure at all. Uh, my, um, my last craft along, usually you kind of go without saying that the craft along project is going to win the demo of the show. Did it not? It didn't, no. But what one? Uh, I'd done paper piecing using an Annabelle Spensley stamp. Right. And that's what won. And it was your second demo? Uh, that, yeah, it wasn't even my craft along, no. Oh. People were that impressed. How disappointing. I have to say it was. Was I it was, good? Okay. Yeah, okay. It was we'll let, we'll let people off then in that. We'll let people off in that case. Uh, La Quieta says, this has been a great day of crafting. La Quieta, it's not over yet. You've got nine minutes yet. Do indeed. Not lots, uh, not, not lot, <laughs> not, not much more to go. Hey, so do you know what watching. it reminds me of? The, you know what the colour rays remind me of? Is it Barney? Do you remember the, the kids? Oh, but yeah, the, Was yeah. it Barney? Was he a dinosaur or something? He was a dinosaur, wasn't I he, Barney? I love you, you love me. You see, I remember it from my old mouth. Is that, is that a Barney song? Yeah, Barney. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, of course it was from when my little cousins were babies. Ah. Oh. But I still remember them. You know, I don't watch Barney I now. I love Barney. If you have a look at my Sky Plus, it's not going to say Barney, Barney, Barney. I thought, yeah, Barney. Oh. Uh, Diane says, only Monday and you are all cracking me up. I'm going to leave them, I'm going to leave them to it, Diane, after today. That's it. What happens is it, between here and Saturday is, you know, Ben's fault. That's what I'm going to say. It's all Ben's fault. Um, this is really funky card concept, Craig. I think it's awesome. Smart, isn't it? Really what you smart. can be doing with your nests and dice. This is a stitched edge, but of course you can do it with any of them. And then what to do is don't bend all the way straight away. Come along and pop little bits back into place. And then once they're secured, what I'm going to do, any little bits, let's chop away. It's like a little crafty lava lamp, Craig. It is, a, yeah. It is, isn't it? Lava lamps. Whatever happened to those? You remember Whatever those? happened to them? So nineties eh? slash then early noughties. Remember that a resurgence? The lava lamp. Yeah. So therapeutic to just sit and watch. Watch them all just flow all the way away. So here we go onto a layer, and let's pop it that way onto our card black. Come along with a sentiment, maybe uh, a few different florals or that. Uh, all you need is a strip with the sentiment. Maybe you want to bring in your interchangeable into the middle there. Could be a photo here, a sentiment here. Lots of different ways in which you can create. But that's using the purple, using the green, and then the white as well. Even just as a backdrop there. It's A5, but Joe, that could be 8x8. Eight eight. That could be a background pattern for your uh, actual memory books. So you can see here. Simply just using the stitched edge circle, you could do it with any of them, but really quite funky when it comes to the backdrop that you can do. I love it, Craig. I think it's fantastic. Really is lovely. Do you want me to make a great foot? Make a great mount for a picture. You know, if you had a picture maybe yep. like half the size with just a nice big mount showing around it. Yeah. Would be absolutely awesome. Uh, right, here are the, the nesting dies that you're going to get included. So you've got those stitched circle. You've also got that stitched oval. There is a scalloped oval the scallop circle 
and then the primitive flower in there as well. £42 or $55. 3360 or $44 as a platinum member. Remember as well, if you've gone for these, or maybe you already own these, then the inverted ones will be back up tomorrow during launch party. It's this time tomorrow during the 7 p.m. show, uh, 2 p.m. East Coast time with uh, Sarah and Ben. So make sure you join them both for those then. Uh, Kepi says, I loving this card, Craig. So retro. So retro. Uh, Rosalind says as well, Craig, this is a creative design. Loving it. Uh, we've had some more wedding photos in Craig, which really pleases me. Uh, this one is coming in from Lisa Rickards. <gasps> Love that, Lisa. I think we showed that one last time, but it's we're fabulous. It deserves yeah. a second outing. Uh, Liz Williams, hers looks very classy wedding. Love the black and white action shot down by the river, yeah. Craig. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't it look absolutely gorgeous? Look at that dress. Uh, this next one is truly fabulous, Craig. Uh, this is Liz Williams' mum and dad. Look at that picture. Look. How awesome. How happy do they look? They're beaming, aren't they? Yeah. Absolutely yeah. beaming. Uh, this next one here from Mandy. Oh, Mandy and Andy. It was meant to be, wasn't it? It was. How fabulous. They look Lovely absolutely photo. awesome there. Look at that. I love that bottom right hand side, you know, when they're just looking behind their shoulder. Yeah. Like, well, it kind of looks as though they're looking back on their shoulder. I love really it. Lovely. Really, really brilliant. Maureen and Gary have sent us in their wedding photos as well. I love a pocket square. I love pocket. You know the, um, you know the bit that goes through your, what's it called? The flower lapel. that goes in your, what's it called? Corsage. Corsage. No, it's not called a, a corsage. is flowers on your uh, wrist. Oh, it is, isn't the it? The pocket flower. Is that what it's called? A pocket flower? I don't know. Uh, Mariah, the lovely Mariah, who's a friend of the show, her oh, mum's really? wedding photo. Doesn't Mariah look like her mum? She does. She was a bridesmaid in this picture just here. How fantastic is that? Uh, Terry sent us in her. I love the cake pictures, Craig. I, they're making me Ooh. ravenous, these cake pictures, honestly. Uh, Terry Dunnington sent us that one in. How fantastic yeah. does that look? Uh, Val Lloyd has also sent us her picture. I love how many of these we've oh, got. Guys, you've one. not disappointed tonight. Val Lloyd uh, has sent this one in as well, which is fantastic. Oh. Love that, all on the steps there. That looks like a very uh, lovely summery wedding. And, there. and look as well, obviously we've got um, the little one right at the front, but behind the little one to the left hand side, the uh, older gentleman. Oh. Look at the way he's just looking. That's an older lady, Craig. No, no, to the left hand side. Oh, to side. the left of that, sorry. Yeah. yeah, to the left hand side. It's like looking, but it's like it's looking, you can just make out that smile. It's just like he's so happy. So much happiness see, in all yeah. of these. Oh, I've uh, just seen what's coming up next. Amanda sent this one into us as well. Uh, the lovely oh, Amanda Pigeon. Gosh. Oh, I just love all the happiness I in these crates. I know. I know. It's the closest oh. to a wedding I'm going to get. Great tiara there from Amanda's. The tiara game is strong, Craig. Lucille has got a great tiara in her wedding day <gasps> photo. So look at this. I love the colour oh, of that dress, Craig. Isn't she gorgeous? Yeah, look at that dress, the tiara as well. The Absolutely happy couple. Absolutely lovely. Talking of happy couples. Look at Lou's photo. Lou, you look absolutely stunning there. Those flowers are awesome, aren't they? Ooh, those uh, mustaches. We, do you want to guess the, the year, day. Craig? Mustaches. I'm going to go uh, 80. I'm going to go 82. I think I've said 82 every time. But... I'm going to say 79. 78! Oh, so 78. close, Craig. So close. Jackie sent us this. And Jackie, I love Jackie's headpiece in this one. Amazing. Look at those ruffles, Jackie. Ooh. Honestly, killing it. It's like a halo. Absolutely lovely. I've got one more as well I want to show you. Uh, I love the vintage ones, oh, Craig. Look at this vintage uh, one. Helen's mum and dad in this one just here. How awesome oh, does that I love look? that style. Look at the little ones at the front, but then look at that huge big flower. Oh, they look, I love the little Not outfits, the, the page boys. So cute. Thank you for sending those in. Craig, I know uh, very, very busy as we end the show on the album. So have you got a few you want to guide us for over there? Let's go for it. So let's start with, so straight away. So I've just got one of the uh, 10 inch one. So 10 inch, but what we can do is obviously make it smaller if you want. This one being a birthday book. So you can keep all the birthdays, maybe address books. But if you want to actually do them as a memory book let's bring in our eight by eight ones so have a lot of fun with your papers your cardstock your tags any embellishments pockets little hidey places love notes dates anything like that 
by changing the colours. So let's just show you one more from this one. Could be a baby one or actually definitely last one from the 8x8 because look how substantial that is. But then maybe you want to go even smaller with the precious memories along the same lines but just on a smaller scale. Waterfall cards, little pockets, little tabs, photos, anything you like. And then once again, look at all of the different ways, the looks, the styles that you can be doing depending on the cardstock that you use. Absolutely fantastic. Craig, it's been an absolute pleasure to spend the whole day with you uh, today. I look forward to spending the whole day with you on Saturday when it's day six for you and you're no doubt giddy. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got Play Your Crafts Right as well happening in that awesome craft along and Craft House on Saturday. I am off until then. I hope you have a wonderful uh, few days in the company of Ben and Rebecca and I'll see you back here on Saturday. Massive thanks, Craig. Thank as you, always, Joel. a pleasure. Big thanks to George Squared next door, of course, in the gallery and the biggest thanks as always to you guys at home. I'll see you back here on Saturday. I hope you can join me. See you then. Bye.